What's up YouTube, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! here today with part four of the five part series. And today we're gonna cover uh, my top 10 effect monsters. So this was by far the hardest group to select from as a lot of uh, a lot of cards are effect monsters. So the, the pool is just bigger to pull from. So a few cards that didn't make the cut, we have Satellite Cannon from Champion Pack 1. Um, just a very simple uh, artwork, but um, really, really cool looking in my opinion. And so, could have made the cut, but just, just didn't. And then another really nostalgic card for me uh, that didn't make the cut, Copycat. This happens to be from Retro Pack 1, but it was originally printed as a Sean and Jump Magazine promo, I believe. So just really, really cool looking artwork. Another one that didn't make the cut, DD Warrior. Uh, if you play, played some older video games, this card was used a lot by computers. So um, just nostalgic to me in those terms and the artwork is pretty cool as well. A newer card, Rainbow Dragon. Um, just, just the, the, the foil on this card. It just makes it makes it beautiful, t to me. So, couldn't justify putting it in my top ten, but uh, one of my favorites. Another one of my favorites that that couldn't make the cut is this Yada Garasu. I mean, just look at the foil bleed on this card. This thing had had to get some screen time if, for that reason, if nothing else. So, beautiful card. And actually, decently well-centered for LOD. So, and a card that is very hard to grade in 10 that has yet to make my top 10. Uh, would probably make a lot of people's top 10. Injection Fairy Lily. Um, I remember uh, using this card a little bit, but I found I found 10 more that were more, more justifiable for various reasons. And the last card that I thought about putting in my top 10, um, Exodia Necros, just because of it being Exodia and kind of an eerie um, cool looking card. So, finally into the top 10. At number 10, Dark Magician of Chaos. Um, just I'm a big, big Dark Magician fan. Um, so, anything with that artwork, I normally, normally gravitate to. So, just took the, uh, Magician of Black Chaos and, uh, Put him on this artwork from Invasion of Chaos. So just cool looking card. Number nine. People probably think I'm crazy for putting it number nine. Dark Magician Girl from Magician's Force. Um, probably in a lot of cases, this might be some people's overall favorite card. And I just had her at number nine in the effect monsters. So, um, Used her a little bit, um, but just the artwork is obviously um, what most people gravitate to. So uh, a lot of the cards on this list are more nostalgic to me than her. At number eight, Legendary Fisherman. Um, just the, the array of colors on this card and uh, part, of the, part of the anime and I'm a big uh, Meku Tsunami fan, so the, the ball on the spear tip uh, is kind of stupid, but just the, uh, the artwork on this card is beautiful. So that was eight at seven. Blowback Dragon. Um, 
you're gonna see quite a few machines on this list, so. Uh, always, always gravitate towards machines. So, Blowback Dragon comes in at number seven. Number six. Uh, probably a, a fan favorite for a lot of people. Uh, a lot of people, you know, like Legend of Blue Eyes and Metal Raiders, and then it's Libreth and Nightmares, their next favorite set. So this is probably one of the more iconic cards for, from a Libreth of Nightmares. So just a eerie looking card. So kind of gravitate towards those too. Number five. The Almighty Jinzo. They could have probably done a little more with this artwork, but the secret on it is just, uh, it's it's up there in, in the best secret category. So, very iconic uh, Joey card after Battle City, so, and very, very uh, usable too, so. Comes in at number five. Number four. One of my most valuable cards. Uh, very short printed set. Tournament Pack 2 Morphing Jar. Uh, real eerie, creepy card. And just the, the artwork, um, the rarity, and, and the rarity to pull and the rarity in price um, puts this at number three for me. Or four for me, sorry, four. At three, could be my number one, is Barrel Dragon. And um, you guys saw in my last video, Serpent Night Dragon beat out um, Blue Eyes to the top spot. And uh, like I said, I've always really loved machines and I love this card. And I pulled that Serpent Night Dragon and I ended up trading it to my buddy for a Barrel Dragon. So Barrel Dragon. Um, obviously means a whole lot to me if I traded away Serpent Night Dragon for it. So, number three, Barrel Dragon. Number two, probably would be a lot of people's number one if they own the card. Cyberstein from Shonen Jump Championship. I think there's about 50 in the world uh, give or take, and I was lucky enough to buy this roll and get it graded 10 myself. So, always been kind of fascinated with the Shonen Jump cards, uh, championship cards, that is. So, beautiful artwork, and uh, I use this card in almost every duel on uh, Eternal Duel Soul video game, uh, Game Boy Advance game. Use that, get Blue Eyes Ultimate, and be game over. But this card um, is probably, lot, number one, is interchangeable with Cyberstein or, or Barrel Dragon, really, probably for my top spot. Um, just, just really um, nostalgic up there. And as you can see, probably six or seven of these cards were machines. And last but not least, this is the Machine King. So... Um, I always try to bring light on this card because I feel like a lot of people don't even know this card exists. Um, it was a Europ European Mall Tour promo card, so I don't know how many are actually out there, but you just don't see them very often or see them talked about very often, so um, just a uh, really cool looking card, machine, Bandit Keith card, big Bandit Keith fan, and just the uh, the, un the unknown from people that don't, that aren't really into the, the history of Yu-Gi-Oh, so I like to bring it up when I can. Uh, machine King from 2004, Mall Tour, is my number one effect monster. So, as always, um, Debate in the comments on what, what you think, what your top 10 uh, is, um, or ask, ask more questions if I didn't go in depth on 
on why something was where it was in my list and subscribe if you're not because I got one more series and then I'll have other openings and stuff on the channel obviously so as always thanks for watching